Hello, hello, welcome back to CGTV, and most specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my front room. Now, this video is a very exciting video. It is a sneak peek of my Urus. This is filmed before I collected it. This video, more importantly than that, is brought to you with Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. They explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. A very relevant example is that of editing and filming. Many of you out there ask me all the time, how do I start YouTube? How do I edit? How do I do this? How do I do that and the other to do with my platforms. Skillshare is an ideal place to pick up those skills and learn how to use new programs. For example, the editing software that I use for my videos, there are countless Skillshare courses on that. And if you fancy yourself as a bit of an Instagrammer, there is a course called Portrait Photography, Shoot and Edit Instagram Worthy Shots, taught by someone called Jessica Kabisi. And that'll talk you through exactly step by step how to get your best gram-worthy shots. Now it's not just stuff for content creators either, there's things like illustration, graphic design, web development, and loads of other things. There are literally thousands of courses available right now to go and get involved in. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable. It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Not only that, but unlike this channel and YouTube, there are no ads either, so there's uninterrupted creativity and learning. There's loads of cool features on there anyway, it's designed for busy people. And one thing that they've actually introduced recently is live classes as well, which is hands-on, live, interactive classes. Really, really cool. The best bit about it all, if you click the link below, the first 1,000 people to hit that link will get 30% off their Skillshare membership. Now, if you've already taken advantage of the free trial that you've been seeing on my channel for quite some time, you can also still get involved in this. So you haven't ruined it by taking advantage of that free trial, you can still get your 30% discount by hitting that link. It's the first 1,000 people, so you're gonna have to be quick. Give the link a go, get involved, and as always, keep me posted. For now, let's jump in my BMW M3 because we're off to Lamborghini Bristol to go and see my Urus in a secret lockup. So let's go. Just weary there. I'm just waiting for Finn here to sort himself out and finish with a customer. My M3 is here. Resplendent with its roof down. Oh, I love this car. It's so good when the sun comes out. I just had a little uh, spirited drive around here, around the roundabouts and near the McDonald's. Lovely stuff, scenic route. But with the roof down and the sun out and that V8 going mental, it's such a cool piece of kit. I absolutely love it. I think it is cool. And I know I'm not usually a fan of sticking carbon bits to cars and modifying them, but actually I think it has enhanced the look with the front splitter and the side skirts and all the rest of it. Very, very happy with that. Let me know in the comments anyway what you think. Have I ruined this car? Anyway, for now, I'm going to head somewhere around the back, God knows where, um, to be outside and at a safe distance and go check out the Urus. Let's get that roof back on then. Don't want to leave it with the roof off. I get a pigeon defecating in here and I'm not on about Archie. Lovely stuff, look at that. Hell. Now, one of the fun bits of visiting a dealership is actually going around the back and having a snoop in the car park. See, I'm not allowed in here, but the camera lenses. We've got a few McLarens. We've got some. Rolls Royce and Bentleys and whatnot. Not hugely exciting, but I don't know where my Urus is. I can't see it. It's not in the dealership and it's not out the back. I think it's having PDI currently. That's a pre, uh, pre delivery inspection. That's basically they make sure the wheels are tight uh, and it's not got like a dog turd on one of the seats and stuff like that. So we will find out where it is. I'm heading back in now to go and find Finn. I've dropped him a message. I think he's busy with someone buying an SV Roadster, so just faffing around. I've been getting some odd looks. I've got my backpack on as well. I've got a very nice new backpack with my camera kit in. I don't want to leave it in the car. So yeah, I think I'm looking a bit, a little bit suspect at the moment with my backpack and beard. Don't know if I can say that. So then, I am in uh, Lambo's secret lockup, full of cars. It's a big warehouse. However, my Urus is here. The rest of the cars in here are service cars, they're customer cars, they're things that I can't show you, uh, so that's all very boring. However, here is my Urus. 
resplendent with its little pouch here and the keys in here so so then this is the car pre-delivery you've already seen it on the channel with the number plate that's gone on it and whatnot i told the guys here not to drill the front to which they replied they don't drill them anyway um however um you will have seen what i've done with the number plate at this point i don't actually know what i'm going to do with it i have various mods planned for this car uh, so so the important thing here is here this is what the car actually looked like before I collected it. It turned up with red calipers. As I said, it was a cancelled order. That's why I've got one so quickly. Um, so this is the standard brake finish. I just don't think it works, to be honest. I know I'm a bit weird, um, but the calipers are so big. And then being red, it looks like you're just driving around on calipers, like floating red calipers. Because the wheels are black, you just lose all the detail. You lose everything. And all you can see is just a splodge of red in there. And it doesn't work with the white, to my mind. So I'm going to do exactly what I did on my Hurricane rear wheel drive. Um, and you will have already seen this, which is black with the red writing. Fantastic stuff. Come around the car then, you can obviously see it's pearl white. You've already seen all this stuff. Again, calipers on the back, slightly smaller, and actually with weirdly with a little silver finishing on the front. Very odd. Around the back then, this is when it gets a little bit ugly as well. We're going to go this way so you can't see any of the other cars in here. This is where it gets ugly as well, where I had to get the guys to intervene and do something with it before I collected it. This panel here, this is how it comes from factory. This. So you've got a pearl white car, black wheels, red calipers, and then this silver bodge on the back here. I don't know what on earth they were thinking with this poo, but that is an absolute must. Uh, and here at Lamborghini Bristol, they will sort that out. If you buy an Urus, you can option to sort that out with them um, down the line and, uh, and whatnot. So that is very definitely sorted by the time you've seen my car revealed, and that will be going black if you haven't seen that video yet. Um, again, you've got some nice options on here. You've got this nice carbon here. It will be going to Nero at some point and getting a big, fat, aggressive wing on the back because I am a yob. But that's pretty much about it, actually. I'm going to see whether I can go inside, see if it's open. This is hell, this car. Do you know what? Not necessarily that exciting for you guys, but this is a really, really cool feeling to see a brand new Lamborghini with my name on it, with all the wrapping still on it. I love this. I know I sound a bit weird now. It's literally box fresh, box and papers, stickered, 2021, chaos. And the new option, which I will have, I'm sure, banged on about in the collection video, is this material here. This kind of metallic material here, in all Uruses to date, that has been silver, but in the brand, brand new ones that are just coming in, that is now blacked out, which is absolutely perfect. It's so much better than the silver poo that was on the other ones. Um, I'm gonna have to probably black that out to match, uh, but this is, a, this is a minor, minor fix. And we've got carbon everywhere as well. Again, I've bored on and on and on in the collection video about all that stuff, so if you wanna see the full spec, go and check out the collection video and help me pay the monthlies. Other things as well, forgot to mention, this bit on the side here, that came in silver, which we don't like. And also, and I don't know why this happens, this is in silver as well. Again, you know, I like silver bits. I think there's a, a time and a place for it, but it just doesn't work on a black and white car. So there has been some work to this car before you guys have seen it. And I think you agree, if you've seen the collection video, the car looks a lot better for it. So there we go, that is that. Another cool thing I want to show you guys before I disappear is the fact that they are no longer Audi keys anymore. This is no longer an Audi key. This is a specific Urus key. So if you're out churning or you're out in the pool and you're out for a drink with a young lady and you whack that on the table, she's no longer going to think you're driving an Audi A6 or you've nicked your dad's family car. Uh, she's going to know you've got an Urus and you are cash. So that is absolutely fantastic news. And that is only for the 21 onwards model years. See what I mean about the little differences on the brand new Urus. And there's also other stuff that Lambo have introduced as standard on the Urus over the past year or two, things like soft clothes. Basically, if you get one of the brand, brand, brand spanking new ones, they are a lot more loaded than the original cars that came out. And that, that is why these things are holding their value. Lambo are being very, very clever and they're introducing little touches and more standard equipment on the newer models to keep the residuals up. Also, if you want to order one of these today, you're pretty much almost in to 2022. So if you see one of these come up brand new, snaffle it because they are basically free. They are not dropping any cash at all and they're absolute money. And I forgot to show you this bit here. That would ordinarily be silver, but it's now blacked out. It's black aluminium. I love it. I'm really, really happy. And it's got red stick in here to match the red on the calipers. I'm forgetting now that you've seen this car already, so um, you know, it's quite difficult to, to film in a non-chronological order. Hmm. Thank you very much for watching anyway. I hope you're all safe, hope you're all well, blah, blah, blah. 
and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.